Ich habe äh, heute Morgen wurde mir von einem äh, amerikanischen äh, YouTuber ein Video in die Timeline gespielt und der hat sich ein ganzes Zimmer nur für Racing gebaut. Und immer wenn wir, also immer wenn ich amerikanische Sachen sehe, denke ich mir immer so, what the actual F geht da ab? Hey everyone, welcome to Destination OG. We just, I think, leveled up the place. We now have a dedicated racing sim room. So the office is over there with the desk set up and you know, you'd walk up to the second level and the master bedroom is over this way. And so I had this room that was here that I didn't know what to do with. Well, ja, man kennt's. Ich habe auch immer ganz viele Räume, in denen ich nicht weiß, was ich machen soll. Puh, Mensch, wenn ich an dem Punkt irgendwann mal sein sollte, das wäre ja geil. Alter, schon allein die Sessel da drinne. Oh, schon allein das ist ja wohl mega geil. Wow. Well, I think we turned it into something amazing. This now is a dedicated theater seated Valencia theater seating with a P1 podium. P1 Ultimate, which is the first edition of this triple 55 inch Samsung monitored full motion racing sim. What the f So I reached out to my now friends at P1 Podium um, probably four or five months ago. Uh, actually, I take it back. They reached out to me. They entered into the chat in the in uh, one of our podcasts. It was Chandler, and so then we messaged afterwards. He sent me an email, and then we you know exchanged phone numbers. I talked to him about it. I said, 55 Zoll is this? Holy moly! Ed, I want to do a basic. Just give me an entry level system. Let's get my feet wet. I okay, ich wollte das aber nicht das entry level system. And uh and so then he sent me three examples. He sent me a P3 which is a base system. He sent me a P2 and then he sent me a P1. So he sent me their three tiers that they prefabs, they make they make solutions where everything's curated, everything's vetted, everything's put together. Uh, and then he sent me like an asterisk and said, well, if you really wanted to go for it, uh, we could do a P1 Ultimate, which we haven't done yet, but uh, we could do for you. And so I was hemming and hawing for weeks. I'm like, I don't know. I was planning on doing a racing sim on phase five of this house. Uh, if you're not familiar, we let our followers borrow this for money. Uh, so we book about 40, 50 weeks a year. Oh, das is so clean. Das ist so unendlich clean, dieses ganze Ding. Wow. Da hat einer einen richtig guten Job gemacht. And people can come here and experience the garage and the home theater and the kitchen and all the cool things that, that cool things that this 7000 square foot house has as a seven car garage with everything that we do at Obsessed Garage in it. And, um, okay, da ist ein bisschen mehr Geld im Umlauf, also gönn dir. You know, I started thinking, well, you know, if I'm gonna do this, maybe I'll do the middle. I'll do the middle of the road, because I don't tend to do anything entry level. And then, I don't know what happened, I was feeling flush, and I called him and said, well, let's just frickin' send it. And so, we now have a P1 ultimate. Lass einfach senden. Wow. This is going to retail, I think, for somewhere around 50,000, they said. 50,000? Oh, I could have a Toyota Supra or this. Well, we got this. So the setup is full motion. And one of the things I was concerned about, I'll show you how the unit works in a few minutes here. Uh, I was concerned we're on the second floor here. Now, there's nothing above this room. It's the dedicated uh, outdoor wash bay out there, downstairs. But I was concerned that the motion would be too sort of rickety and, and you know, be making noise in the bedrooms and elsewhere. And actually, we found it's super smooth. The subwoofer actually makes more vibration than the, than the actual D-Box motion does. So mm. we have full motion. Oh, yeah, okay. Then we're going to 50,000. All's clear. Okay, good. 
Um, we have the new Assetek. I'm not an expert in this. I'll have the, the guys from P1 come and we'll make a dedicated video where they go, you know, geek out on all the specs. Basically, what I know is that we have, uh, we have a freaking crazy PC. And the big choice that I had to make was that I want to pay the substantial difference in the need for a, um, a much more significant, much more powerful graphics card, as well as, you know, PC in general. Uh, and then the larger monitor. So that's where the expense comes and, and becomes a, a drastic, uh, there's a drastic upgrade or drastic difference in price between what was their normal P3, or I'm sorry, their normal P1 version, which is I believe 40-ish monitors, uh, to go to 55s is a, is a significant cost difference. Da kosten die Monitore schon alleine mal fünf Scheine, wenn nicht sogar noch mehr. Because of all the supporting equipment that's needed in order to make this work, you need extra stands because the monitors need their own stands. The other concern I had was because we haven't done this one before, they hadn't done it before. We weren't sure what the footprint was, uh, and so I sent the benches in the room, and we kind of were hoping that it worked out. And I'm telling you, we don't have an extra inch to spare. It is like. Glove fitment, it's perfect. Like, it couldn't have been more, does, you know, set up more perfectly for this specific room. Now, I do have another roughly six inches of room. We could have pushed it backwards, uh, but I wanted to get the GIK acoustic treatments in place. But the nice thing about this, I was concerned that I didn't want it like feeling like it was kind of poking out. So as you walk toward the room, we have double doors, the, the doors will close. So we can close the doors if we like. Um, but just because of the way that the, the arm works, even with the Valencia seating, there's enough room. Ich möchte solche Sitze haben mit meinem Wohnzimmer. Oh, das würde ich ja echt fühlen. Schon seit Jahren. Aber die sind so teuer. You know, I can walk comfortably even with the, the seats, seats opened up uh, fully. So that was, that was uh, uh, you know, something that I couldn't really calculate. Uh, but I got really lucky. It worked out really well. The room is actually, it's 10 foot 8, so let's just say 11 by roughly 15 feet in length. Uh, and the ceilings are, are about 8.5 feet at the peak and say 7.5 feet at the, uh, at, the, at the bottom of the vault here. We actually just took the fan out. There was a fan in here. Uh, and the way they designed this house, this was a his and hers office. Uh, and so it actually has dual supplies on each side and then a single return uh, and so there's plenty of ac in here and then the windows are triple pane argon filled uh, so really really efficient and then the roof line is all isonine spray foamed same thing with the walls so i think i can get away without a fan uh, and the pc mm. doesn't seem to be running too hot so mm. i think that uh, i think that we're in good shape here just make sure we don't go to sleep on the machine so We have uh, e-brake, full six, seven-speed transmission. So we have we have shifter, a shifter mechanism. Wie der Shifter halt wahrscheinlich einfach schon äh, 2000 Euro kostet oder Dollar. <lacht> da kannst du aber richtig halt drauf lassen. Uh, full 5.1 surround. The center is underneath the seat here. You have left, right, uh, and then left, right, rear. Uh, we have uh, I think they're Husafeld pedals. So I think these are the best. Uh, best pedals on the market and then the you know the best uh, best steering wheel uh, this is a quick release mechanism as well so uh, we're gonna have a full like Porsche like round wheel so we can do drifting and you know more street driving and stuff as well uh, so the PC is mounted on the stand and then all the monitor modules are mounted to the to the back bracing it's all custom made all custom designed by uh, by P1 And, uh, you know, Stephen Chandler and crew came and helped set this thing up. Uh, well, they set it up and I sort of observed. Uh, but the, the, again, the fit finish and how it functions and how it fit into the room couldn't have been any better. So that's the sim. And um, I wanted to, when I, when I, when I came up with the, the concept of this idea of putting a racing or doing a simulator room here, I wanted it to sound good too, uh, and so I was sure to uh, contact GIK Acoustics. And so these are the 244 bass traps. So we have five in the front, five in the rear, and then these uh, four uh, 24 by 20. Alter, der Raum ist so teuer. Oh. Nur das Zeug, was sie an der Wand hängen haben, diese, diese äh, Bassfallen, äh, sind 
Scheiße teuer. 24-inch um, cloud panels helps to take away some of the slap echo in the in the in the room here. So before I put the carpet down, obviously put some furniture in here, and then the acoustic treatments. This was a really echoey, really you know not a, not a very comfortable room to be in, and now it's super super chill, super comfortable. So I also had the idea that when we did the sim that we, we would put some theater seating, because what we find is that when you're up here driving, everybody wants to watch. Uh, and so I contacted uh, Valencia Theater Seating and said, hey, I'd like to involve you in this project. I think it'd be really cool. I bet you've never done theater seating in a racing sim room. Uh, and they were like, then they said, sure enough, I don't think we have either. Uh, and so we have the three, set, three sets of theater seats, which all give it a little different perspective. You almost get to ride along when you sit in the center here. You can, you know, you can really see, you know, the panoramic view of the of the racing simulator. But these these seats recline. So they're fully motorized. They also uh, have little yeah. LED lights and stuff, which I don't know that I'll use very much. But the neat thing about the reclining function the Whoa. thing I like most about these seats, there's motorized lumbar as well. But notice my head is looking comfortably up at the ceiling. So it has a headrest adjustment where it can turn. So I can stay reclined, ah, nice hey, and comfortable. Yeah. I could lean all the way back if I wanted to. So was brauchen wir, also so was brauchen wir im neuen Büro, wenn äh, Leute zu Besuch sind. <lacht> und wir nur rennen fahren. Und dann hat jeder so ein Sing. Which is super comfy. And then, I've never had seats like this before. And I can tilt my head so I can sit here and watch. And maybe, so maybe take a nap. Pretty sweet. So this was another dicey thing. I wasn't sure exactly what the footprint needed or what the footprint would need to be in order to fit these because I do have to have them off the wall a little bit. I did want to have the acoustic treatments on the back wall. Uh, and uh, I literally could not have worked out any more perfectly. Even with my feet out, you can still walk around. Uh, the only bad part about this is it has cup holders. I got to figure out a way to get rid of that because we drink in the kitchen because we're grown ups here. Bester Satz EU West. So, Einfach yeah, mal geschossen. This, is, uh, <laughs> this is pretty sweet. So this array of seating, uh, I think if you go on Valencia's site, uh, this is the Oslo, Oslo luxury version. Uh, it's $59.99. I think that's shipped. So $6,000. Uh, this came in three boxes. So it came freight. Uh, I think r &L Carriers brought it to me. Uh, three boxes. And then each seat is two sections. So the back section and then the lower section. We're on the second floor here. And it was, you know, two of us were easily able to carry it up the stairs and get it into position. Uh, so, um, so it was a pretty easy install. Um, I have a video on that. If you want to go check that out, we'll put the link in the description. Uh, but these uh, these are also I've treated them with leather shield. Uh, so I clean them with mild cleaner, wiped them down with mild cleaner, and cleaned them with uh, uh, treated them with color lock leather shield because this is a this is a uh, what do they call it twenty thousand. I'm not sure what the rating scale is on leather, but it's extremely soft. Also, so wie ich das verstanden habe, sechs uh, für alle. Aniline Napa leather uh, with uh, with silver stitching, and so you know I wanted to treat it with something in case someone did bring a drink up here that I have it um, I have it uh, treated so it'll it'll help protect it. I couldn't figure out what the heck this was for. Well, they have some accessories like table accessories and stuff like that uh, that you can you can bolt into place. There's sto storage here for your potato chips and um, I don't know your uh, jujubes or something, which I'm gonna frown again frown on a frown upon people who are planning to do that in my racing sim room uh but man i i cannot explain to you how excited i am this thing turned out fantastically well uh and so it's actually really cool to these seats have a uh, have an led light uh and so it's uh, i can't wait to i haven't done it yet but tonight we'll have the sim on turn the lights off close all the blinds and actually it will will probably be a pretty unique experience Playing well, uh, Forza you, uh, or um, you know I racing. All right, so let me jump in the sim and uh, get it set up here, and I'll give you a quick little demo. That I figured uh, we shouldn't make a racing sim video without showing you how it works. Oh, dass der Computer immer in Sleep Modus geht, das wird mir richtig auf den Sack gehen. 
Er hat auf jeden Fall schon mal Kuchi drauf. Und so, I needed them to do an extra lot, extra wide, extra, you know, XL version of a Recaro seat. Uh, and this is the racing, they make these specifically for Sims. The seat, you know, moves forward and back, of course, just like a regular seat would. You know, racing simulators are pretty complicated. You know, there's a lot going on here. And so what the guys at P1 Podium have done, again, I'm not an expert. I just got this yesterday. Uh, and so I'm not, um, I'm not an expert in how this thing functions, but they've got it set up to where even a novice like me can, can get this thing functioning and moving really quickly. Uh, and so let's say I wanted to do iRacing, which is the, um, I guess the, you know, where you can get licensed and you can you know, race against other people. What I've been doing is driving by myself on the track. Uh, and so I'm going to turn the wheel on which will populate here in one of the screens, one of these three screens, so Race Hub activates. And then this, actually, believe it or not, this is my keyboard and mouse, so you keep this, keep this handy. And then I will simply minimize. I turn the crew chief on, which is the aid while you're driving, so we start that. Radio check. I launch iRacing by hitting these two buttons. My racing launches and so this is the what what's happening behind the scenes with the ball the buttons i'm pressing is pretty sophisticated uh, but they've made it really simple um, you know i'm sure you could do this for a lot less money but uh, this is a pretty difficult thing to aggregate and figure out uh, and so i can choose my track choose my car uh, and i'm just going to use the the port rsr porsche and sebring would be my home track i've been on sebring i think four or five times so I, I at least have an, a concept for what it's like and then I can um, simply click and test drive. So within a few minutes I can get in here and um, get get to racing. So this particular game or this sim, this simulator is um, um, it's uh, paddle shift mode so you know, you're going to be driving you know GT3, GT4 cars GT2 cars uh, and so it's going to be utilizing the paddle shifter we won't be using Ich finde das so schön dass er im Grunde genommen halt dazu steht dass er davon keine Ahnung hat sich aber damit so ein bisschen auseinandersetzt und äh, so ein Ding so macht finde ich cool the, you know, the drift vor allem dass er sich auch gleich so ein Apparat da hinstellt break the e-brake we also won't be using the uh, the manual shifter but just listen how good that is and it's so sturdy like This feels like an S2000. It's freaking awesome. Uh, and so then we have our game. Our D-Box motion kicks in. Again, in this game, I'm also not going to use the clutch pedal, but the pedals feel like real pedals. You know, I can easily, you know, heel toe. And, you know, if I were shifting, there's, uh, you can hear the hydraulic in the, in the uh, which makes it simulate like a real uh, experience. And so then we go to start. I have my full 5.1 surround. Crank. Das habe ich übrigens noch nie verstanden, warum Menschen in Boxen fahren. Das finde ich so weird irgendwie. Get up a little bit. And you can go watch me crash. Engage in gear. Pit lane speed limit is full 72 side. per hour. Ooh. Das stimmt, geil. It's hard to explain what you experience with something like this. With the wheel. Can I get in? Oh, yeah. Das ist so geil, man. Oh boy. You see the shift light? It's so cool. I'm bringing in a straight line, Matt. This is the hardest turn in Sebring. Oh, er ist recht fremder. Oh, er ist recht fremder. There we go. <laughs> Gosh, that's so amazing. Look at that. So we've got... What, 55 diagonals? So they're roughly 50, so we have roughly, you know, 150 inches of panoramic view that goes past <laughs> my field of view, which is pretty incredible. So grab by remote control to exit the game. 
And so what the the long term plan here is we'll have uh, what's that game called? So we have we'll have both ACs. There's ACC and AC. It's Assetto Corsa. So we have Assetto Corsa, and then there's Assetto Corsa, the Championship Edition. Uh, so we'll have that. Those two games we'll have, or simulators. We have iRacing, uh, and then we also have a emulated Forza as well. So Forza Horizon is also another game where we would have a four-step sequence to launch it. Uh, but Alter. it's been pretty seamless for a... Viel Spaß bei Forza, Alter, dem Rick. Yo! Yeet! You know, a novice here, somebody who doesn't, you know, I don't do racing sims. Now, I will tell you I'm about to puke right now, so I do get some pretty heavy, heavy motion sickness. I'm going to have to, you know, just practice and, and use this. Uh, but the goal here with this, this simulator is to provide people a unique experience at Destination OG. We had this room we didn't know what to do with, uh, and so it just made sense that yeah. we're in the mountains. People are coming here to wash and take care of their cars. Uh, to do some driving in the mountains, and then at night they can come in here and get together and have a unique driving experience. And this is pretty darn unique. I <laughs> mean, it's really quite incredible, and and it's in a really cool. Warte mal, sind die Dings unten gebogen? Die Aluprofile? Ui, das habe ich ja auch noch nie gesehen. Oha! room where we have sort of views of the mountains out the windows here uh now i have full acoustic you know treatment so it sounds really nice in here it's really comfortable we have the really awesome valencia theater seats as well as this insane um racing simulator from p1 uh, podium so if you're interested in coming here and having an experience in uh, the racing racing sim room or going into the garage and washing your car or going and hitting the richard b russell or grabbing some uh, cinnamon rolls of the country bakery here in next Cleveland and uh, Helen, Georgia. Um, you know, you can go to obsessgarage.com, go to the destination Obsess Garage version. Oder es ist halt ein Zwischenstück, ein Connector oder sowas, aber es macht auf jeden Fall einen Knick. Or, or a portion of the website. Uh, you can book a week. I think right now it's 6,500 bucks for the week. Uh, you gotta pay the tax, but there's no, there's no, I don't take any security deposits, there's no cleaning fees, there's no nuisance nonsense. Uh, you do have to pay the sales tax, there's no way around that. Uh, but I want this to be a unique experience. You know, there's uh, four bedrooms plus a bunk room uh, and uh, a seven car garage. So it's a pretty, pretty awesome setup. That's and then the Richard B. Always? Russell is four miles from our, from our front door, which is one of the, I think one of the best highways in America. Uh, if I can help at all with um, with connecting you with the guys from P1 Podium, hit me up, Matt, at ObsessedGarage.com. Same thing with uh, Valencia Seating. I've helped lots of people with GIK Acoustics as well. I don't really have any relationship with them other than I just go online and buy the stuff. Uh, I do like that they afford you the ability to just go on, click the button, add it to your cart, and buy. If you know what you're doing with acoustic treatments, you can do that as well. I want to say total in this room, uh, acoustic treatments were about $1,000. The seats were six. The carpet was $2,500 delivered with the pad underneath. The racing sim's about $50. So you're looking at um, a really nicely appointed uh, to uh, Toyota Tundra, you know? Um, Just a quick drink. Mm -hmm. Sind da müssen noch ein paar, paar Twitch Primes rein. Ugh. And, you know, granted, I, uh, I, I didn't pay quite that much for it, uh, but this is something here that I think will pay dividends over the years. Uh, my friends at P P1 will continue to send me updates when new steering wheels and new stuff comes. They can actually team view, remote in, do software patches and things like that for you. Uh, in most cases, uh, they actually came and installed this with me. Uh, in most cases, they have it set up so beautifully where um, they just ship you the unit and you can set it up in under a couple of hours. Uh, notice, I don't see any wires, do you? I mean, very, you know, there's the, maybe a pigtail that comes off onto That's the really shifter. Really uh, but the beauty of this, they speak the same language I do and that wiring is key. So clean, organized, structured uh, wiring is, uh, is, is what I think, one of the things that set this, sets this apart. And there's a lot of similarities with what I do in that they're curating the best parts and pieces that they know of at the time, putting it together, and then spending the time to integrate to make sure it works properly in a system. Uh, and as you saw, I got into iRacing. I've 
again, that's probably the fifth time that I've logged into the machine here. I've had it for less than 48 hours. Uh, so, and most of the time I've spent is building the room. So I'm, I'm super, super pumped. This turned out way better than I could possibly have imagined. It's, uh, it's, yeah, yeah. Makes me think I need to raise the price of Destiny's Room D. Go G because this, 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 uh, just this room alone, I think a lot of pe people are going to have a lot of fun. My kids, every time they come home from doing something, they're running up here to come and, and play with this thing. And uh, hopefully, um, I do have a friend, Tim, who, uh, who works for Turn 10, who designs the, oh. the Forza game. And so he's going to hopefully hook us up with some uh, extra cool cars uh, to be driving on, on, on the sim unit. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in Destination OG, like I said, go to ObsessedGarage.com. And uh, if I can help with, with anything and, uh, and what I've learned in this process, just shoot me an email. I'm always, always willing to chat. Uh, Valencia Seating, I'll have a, a link to their website and the three-chair setup. You can get this in all different configurations for your theater or if you're going to build a sim room like this, check them out. Thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. This room is... Uh, ich glaube, das ist wirklich das Krasseste, was wir bis jetzt gesehen haben. Also in den, in den vier, fünf Monaten, in denen wir uns jetzt Setups angucken, ist das das Krasseste, was wir jemals gesehen haben. Nicht vom Preis her, sondern das ist richtig aufgeräumt. Da ist ordentliche Hardware dran. Der Raum sieht super clean aus. Das ist schon wirklich äh, sehr krass.